Welcome everybody to my first video of 2021. This video I'll be going over my full surf cast kit from rods, reels, tackle, everything. So we'll start from the bottom. So first thing you're gonna need is one of these. Or sand, gra sand grabber or breakaway sinker. These are awesome for um, especially off the sand. They hit the bottom, these prongs here dig into the sand and hold so when you go to wind in or get a big fish all they do is break away and makes reeling in so much easier so I'll I normally use a three ounce but I can go up to about six seven ounce depending on what the current's doing as well next up is these rigs here from Black Magic these are the long reach surf casting rigs I'm a big fan of these I've been using these the whole time I've been off the beach they're um, designed to make your rig aerodynamic just to get that further caster out these come with um, two rigs so you've got two traces there sorry four, hook, or four hooks swivels beads all ready to go is your um, casting shuttle and instructions are on the back of the packet on how to make it up. It's pretty easy. Tie it on to your main line, chuck a sinker on, chuck a bait on, and you're good to go. We come in different um, colours. You can see these are uh, the floats, so these help keep your bait off the bottom too, which is pretty awesome. And got the green and orange here. Oh, you do the blue and white. Uh, Super Lumo, so if you've got a UV torch, shine it on these, but especially at night and brighten them up for a bit more visibility. And the pink and white, and they also do one that's got no float on it at all, which is pretty good. And what I've done when I've been fixing up an old one is um, I've chucked on a Black Magic Snapper Snack, and that's the Super Lumo one too. I do my majority of the fishing at night, so the Super Lumo helps heaps with um, visibility in the water. Down to the, the engine room now, my reel. This is one reel I use. This is the Akuma Kema CMBF365. This is a bait runner model. And I like the bait runner because as it's sitting in the bait holder, you can then engage the bait runner. And then the fish picks up your bait, you know, releases the bottom drag. And then when you're ready to hook up, one little half wind of the reel engages the top drag and you're off riding your fish very smooth reel i found and um, I've had no issues with it whatsoever even with casting distance and I think that comes down to my main line that I've got on there I've got the um, Black Magic Inferno braid so I've got 30 pound on there that's got enough for me for off the beach and I've caught kings off 30 pound before and super super small the diameter is 0 0.9 0 0.19 of a millimeter uh, uh, pe 1.2 yeah, 13.6 kg and so smooth to cast with so smooth winding in and yeah i'm loving this braid at the moment from black magic and i tie that on with fg knot I'm gonna focus there it is there we have a G knot onto some 30 pound shock leader and that pretty much takes all the strain and the weight from when you cast just so you can give it a bit more oomph a bit more power in your cup um, behind your cast and it's not gonna snap the braid I've put pretty much my whole power into what I'm um, cast before and hasn't snapped it hasn't come off the FG knot and also saves your finger from the braid and if you've cast it with braid with no glove on or anything you know what happens the reel i use is the um akuma avenger or revenger sorry it's the revenger 80 spin um you can buy this as a combo actually with the reel a uh, reel and rod um i've spooled that up with some multicolor braid 30 pound as well and i've got that 30 pound shock leader on there too so there you go, 
and um, really, really affordable combo. I think they're only about $100 from Burnsco. And I've had one of these for about three years. Caught Big King first, big snapper off it. No worries. And um, my other one's actually rigged up for catching kingfish off the sand with slider baits. So, extra tackle I take out. Five by row hooks, recurves, KRTs. Did the damage. DX point hooks, three by rows. They're like a keeper, I use for a keeper hook. Also got that um, non stick code on them too. Also take some rolling snap swivels. Some rolling swivels. Also, at night, you can either get clip on lights, I get these clip on little glow sticks. To um, last way over 12 hours. So, sexual pair of scissors. These split ring pliers I used to cut braid with. Big um, cotton. Lighter. And they pretty much all go into my little container I've got. So these are the rods that I use. These rods are about 13 and a half meters long, three piece surf castings. So I've got the Kuma Cascade, the Kuma Revenger, Revenger Pro. Let's see if we go there. Just gonna focus. 13.6 foot, 18 kilos, come in three sections. Put the bit pretty easy. I've had these reels for a long time and no damage whatsoever. whatsoever. I'm pretty happy with these, but always still looking for more. Got off that, got your rod holder, sand spike, there's a one and a half meter rod holder, stab it in the sand and um, chuck your rod in. Got a bit of reflective paint there too, just so if anyone's driving up and down the beach they can um, see there's a rod holder there. So these are some other things I take with me that I also pack in the bag. Got the chest harness for the camera, gloves, sunblock cameras, measure mat, head torch, speaker, this is um, black magic, this is a UV light, so I won't shine it direct in, but that'll um, charge up all your super lumo stuff, also got shades, sunnies, knife, waterproof jacket in case the rain comes in, Hiver's vest, Make yourself nice and visible. See a nice hat if it's sunny. First aid kit. All my main tackles in this little lunch box here. Some spear leader and um, shock leader, just in case I've got to make make up a new line. And it all gets packed into this bag from Legacy Fish for the People. Love their work they do and. That's pretty much my surf casting kit that I take with me. Hope you enjoy. So thanks heaps guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give it a like and um, don't forget jump on my other social media pages and follow along.